Hi, welcome to the assembly. My name's Bella and here are five ways to help you cool down after a long hard run. Step one, we're going to be uh, doing some lunges. Step two, we're going to be stretching out our shoulders. Number three, we're going to be loosening them out. Number four, we're doing a wide angle forward bend. And number five, we'll be touching our toes. So let's get going. So step one is some lunges. Now imagine if you've been running a little while, your legs are going to be super tight. So we're going to lunge it out. So what you have to do for lunge is step your foot forward, step the other foot probably about three feet behind or so. You want to have this knee almost at a right angle. You don't want to have your knee too far over. If it's like that, you're going to overstrain your knee. So you want to have it in a right angle. This leg, you want to be as straight as possible. And you want to have your hips facing forwards and activated. Don't let them just like this because it's not a good stretch. You want to keep them forward and activated. So in this you're going to be feeling it through the hip, you're going to be feeling here and here. Okay? So just hold that down for a few things. Just keep you keep breathing, keep breathing. And after maybe holding it for five, then top over. So step your foot up, step the other one back, get yourself into a good position and then just sink down into that. So step two is to loosen off your shoulders. Now, actually, when I find when I'm running, I hold myself quite tight at the top. And I think, especially if you're a beginner's runner, that's something that's going to happen to you too. So what you want to do is something super simple. Just get your arm forward, bring it over to the side, and pull it in with your other hand like so. And just don't pull it up too high, just keep it quite low. And you should be able to feel it all across the back of your shoulder like so. Just really enjoy that stretch. It'll be nice to loosen off. So part three is uh, a wide angle forward bend. So basically you just get your legs out wide and you bend over and it loosens up your hip flexors, keeps you a stri nice stretch on the inside of your leg. So essentially how it goes is like this. So you want your feet this far apart, maybe you've had like three feet or so, and you want to sort of put your weight through the outsides of your feet. You can really feel it on the edges. What you want to do is take a deep breath and then fold forward like so. The ground's a bit mucky right now. But ideally, you want to rest your hands down like that and keep your head down and really lengthen through your legs. Try not to lock your knees, but really kind of push, stretch and straighten your legs as far as possible. And when you're ready, come up. Step four is another one on your shoulders. This time you want to loosen them up by rolling them forwards and rolling them backwards. So, pulling them forwards like so, get your elbows up help the movement, have some big circles and then when you've had enough of that one, try going backwards like so. <sighs> it feels so good after a long run. There we go. So step five is a simple forward bend. So reaching up then touching your toes. Take a deep breath in and then fold forward like so. Now if you can't get that far down that's okay. Maybe you'll only get to your shins like so. And as you get better at this, you can reach your ankles. But when you get down here, try not to lock your knees, maybe keep a slight bend in there. But really try to bring your chest down to the floor. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the link below.